or her audio is not on. Oh my gosh! Finally. <laughs> Sorry. Or <laughs> you like you have like so much light on you. <laughs> I know. I'm in the car because like oh. everyone works in IT in the house. Okay, so Nathan and his mom both work from IT. Oh, okay. So, uh, like in IT, so like um, they they work in the house. So, like, yeah, I'm loud when I talk. <laughs> so, and then also like the house is pretty dark right now everywhere. So, okay, it's saying that your awesome. internet, your internet is like hi. It's weird. <laughs> She's funny. You can put on the other is side. It no, it's all right. It's all right. I can hear. You. Is okay. it okay now? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's good. Okay. So, um, well, before we start, I'm just gonna do like a quick prayer, just like real quick. Okay. Um, so, dear Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for the life of Naomi. Uh, I thank you that you're giving us the opportunity to be here and have a conversation. I pray that it will um, allow others to um, to be inspired, but also grow a desire in ourselves to uh, grow closer to you and uh, know you more. Uh, I pray that you will use us and that you will continue to guide us. In your precious name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that. <laughs> of course. Um, so, uh, can you introduce yourself a little bit for those who doesn't know you? Okay. <laughs> my name is Naomi. <laughs> uh, my name is Naomi. Um, I'm from Silver Spring. Well, I guess like Tacoma Park, Maryland. Mm -hmm. I'm charging my phone. Why are you? Why are you not charging? <laughs> um, um, I'm from Silver Spring, Maryland. Um, I was um, born in 1994, <laughs> so I'm 26. Okay, I'm 26 now. Hey, I'm hey. Scorpio. <laughs> um, I'm uh, I'm Orthodox Christian. If I had to identify with a denomination i guess I, the better phrase to say was i was raised orthodox christian pretty mm -hmm. liberal with my christian beliefs um and then um yeah so what do you I, do oh <laughs> i i work <laughs> okay yeah so right now i work for a company named john's Bloods. um so i just like sell clothes i style a lot of people i just work on building like customer relations and stuff like that um it's pretty fun. I really love the company. Like, uh, they make cool stuff like this coat. I don't know if you guys can see it because it's like, yeah, it's like yeah. off white color. So, um, <laughs> but like, okay, maybe the shirt, it's like the zebra. It's like, maybe if you put your camera like a little bit down, the light will be. Okay, down. I'm frozen right now. I think. Okay, here. So, yeah. Oh, here we go. The light is good now. Okay. Okay, the lighting's better this way. Here, no, what that, if I did the this? other way? Oh, down. the other way. Yeah, <laughs> here we go. I think, I think I get the sun out of my face. Hold on. <laughs> is, this, is this better? No. Okay, forget it. Okay. Yeah, this is good. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry, it's so awkward. Okay, so um, they make cool things like I'm wearing this coat and like this silk zebra printed shirt. You can't really see it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, uh, but I usually just do like re wardrobing for like women's closets, personal styling. Um, I kind of like, I will, oh, uh, so when someone has like a creative project that they're trying to do, like a photo shoot or um, they're trying to rebrand like themselves on Instagram for their business or something, sometimes they might like ask my opinion. So a lot of times I do a lot of creative consulting, so things like that. Um, sometimes I model for, um, like small, um, not small, some of them like growing for growing brands um, for um, or like I like to do a lot of like collaborative work with um, indie brands and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> just as a way to like not not only to support and then also just to um, just get more. I guess like when you work with people, you learn more, you know, yeah. just through all the different ideas that are around you. Right. And so I, I definitely like to learn from experience. So I never say no, you know, and that's I like good. to like just keep moving forward. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. So um, can you share with us like how you balance your, like your belief, your faith with your life? Because you seem like a busy person. <laughs> so like, 
maybe when I was younger, it was harder because, like, um, I guess, like, when you're a child, I'm not going to say you live, like, a sheltered life, but your parents are more prone to, like, shelter you from, like, the temptations of this, this, um, of this you know, this world. And, uh, <laughs> and like, you, you grow up, and I guess, like, as you grow, you, you make mistakes. I'm not going to say I didn't make mistakes. I'm just going to say, like, when you're young or, like, when you're growing when you're I'm still growing I'm still learning every day but like right. when you're going through your day-to-day activities or just living life and you're um going through and you're making decisions and you're thinking about how you're going to get to the next step in life um often you make um you might make it take a little detour I'm not mm-hmm. gonna say a wrong turn <laughs> <laughs> um, detour is good. um but it, it, in those detours you learn from from uh, you know, you might take the scenic route and you learn right. and you learn and serve and um, you recalculate, and you adjust and you do what works for, for you and you keep doing that until you die. And I think that's, that's, but the only way that that, that method would ever work is if you're actually trying to um, learn from your mistakes. Like, mm. so sometimes you might have to make the same mistake like five times. Who knows? Right. Right, right. That's Everyone's good. different. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's different. <laughs> but it, 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 what matters is that at the end, the end result is that you are gonna eventually learn something from it and right. uh, try your best to move forward. Right, and I so, you. and that's kind of like how I go by in like life and what I do. So, um, I don't think, um, you know, like it's hard because you come from like a strict Christian background and then you're not living like the strict, like for example, me and Nathan should be married. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, I mean, we just love each other. Um, and like, I don't know. I think it's just the way you do things. It's not yeah. like I'm out here flipping from person to person. Even if you were dating person to person and, and not, married oh, there's nothing I don't think there's anything wrong with that I think it's just are you at the end of the day like are you happy with yourself you know do you and do you think like God is happy with you or do you think when you get to pizza heaven is he gonna look at you and be like mm, not today or is he gonna be like oh come on man. like hmm. I think I think as long as you're like asking yourself those questions and making sure you know I think I, I don't think it's hard to be a good Christian I don't think, you know, as it, it, it is as hard as a lot of people make it out to me. It depends on how, like, strict you want to take. Okay, so how, that, that's how, your view. Yeah, how you interpret. Yeah, it depends on how you interpret the, the laws. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everyone is, like, so different. Like you said, like, there's so many, like, different denominations. And that's why I wanted to do this show, because, like... I have friends and like everyone have a different faith walk and I don't judge yeah. like I'm always open to hear like what they're thinking you know because I think that you can you should unite first um yeah so yeah and so how God how does God inspire you on your everyday basis um God inspires me um okay so a lot of times um I feel like in life i've been in a lot of situations where maybe maybe i shouldn't have come out and un- as much as um unscathed as much as i did you know and um i think those moments are like god or like um sometimes i like i don't know i just think god like mm, equips you he equips you with like he equips everybody with the 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 tools that they'll need the necessities he equips everybody with their own personal necessities that they'll need in life so um i like the way i look at things or the way i do things or what i chose to do in life might not be what my neighbor or the next person next to me has chosen to do but that works for them because the way god is working through them so that's how i don't know so like at home if like let's say um 
there's so many examples. It's just so hard to pick. <laughs> um, just okay. Pick two. <laughs> okay, two examples. Okay, um, <clears throat> yesterday morning it was like snowing, um, really bad, and um, not not snowing really bad. Like Maryland has a thing; it goes through like all the seasons of the year in a day. <laughs> so it was like snowing really. Yeah, so like it was like snowing a lot in the morning, and then um, I think when I decided to leave out is like right when the snow starts to melt. So everything melt, and it was like now like water. It was like raining, like mm -hmm. just like like slight drizzle, and um, like a heavy like a, sl a slow heavy. I don't know how to describe it. It was like a slushy rain, mm -hmm. and um, the, the earth was starting to warm up, and um, I was going and um, the. The street, the way it is, it's like um, there was. A, I was at a stop sign, and still was waiting for my moment to go. And there's cars coming this way and that way. So like, and I'm waiting to like, I'm trying to go left, and I did not see for the life of me. Like, I saw this really cute. Like, I was looking at this powder blue car, and I was like, oh, that car is far away. Like, there's no cars coming this way. I didn't see anybody in front of me. I didn't see anybody in front of the blue car. Like, it was clear to go. Mm -hmm. So I started to turn. I saw this like, and then out of nowhere, I saw like this car, like it, it like reappeared. I don't know how I didn't notice it. It blended in with the asphalt. The reason why I didn't notice it is there was snow on top of the car and there was um, the color of the car matched the road. No, I'm so serious. So like the snow, like, so when the car's driving, you didn't really notice it. Like, it looked like it was dark, and then the top of the car bl blended in with, like, the hills in the background. So, like, the snow on top of the car. Like, I really did not notice this car came out of nowhere, right? Mm. And um, mm. something, like, the way I turn, like, Nathan hates how I, like, turn. He tells me, like, it's choppy. But I always feel like you never know, and, like, your foot needs to stay on the brake because you never know. Like, yes, you need to do a smooth turn. I feel like I always have to like slow down and keep my foot on the brake just in case, like e even as I'm turning, um, just in case, like you never know when you just have to make an abrupt stop. And I did. And I was able to like stop. I almost hit this car at like I almost T-boned them actually. And I, was, I, I wasn't going to say I wasn't going slow, but I wasn't going fast. But like the, uh, the weight of my car and the way it was turning and they were going actually they were going a little fast. I would have mm -hmm. like hit them them and um mm -hmm. i didn't like i stopped cool. in time um the, the guy sped up and i think also if he hadn't sped up um i might have still grazed his car so maybe i'm thinking in that moment like god blessed him with like agility and and then also me with like hesitance because like mm -hmm. then like i didn't you know so that avoided an accident and then i apologize like i pulled over and i apologized to them. like we all we spoke about it and it was just like I was like, thank God nothing happened. And they're like, yeah, stay, stay, you know, stay safe. God bless. And I think in that moment, because I was so shocked, like something, you know, worse could have happened. Who knows what could have happened. But mm -hmm. um, I feel like in that moment, like God, like I really just like worked through the driver and like bo both of us, you know, Amen. me and the Dang, driver. Be careful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, there's so many examples. Like, I need um, to see you. I need to see you first. Like you can do whatever, bro. <laughs> Be safe. <laughs> oh <Yeah. my> God. <laughs> oh. And it's crazy that I'm even driving. So it's just like I know the, oh the my fact God. that I'm even driving is like God. To be honest, um, yeah, okay, know. that that's that could be my number two. The fact that I'm driving is God. Let me tell you why. Um, <clears throat> I am so scared of driving. I like shake. I cry. Like I, I try not to let like people know that I feel this way about like being, being behind the wheel. <laughs> Um, it's just because, like, uh, you know, I know people, like, I, 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 I've, I've been around tragedy, that's all I'm saying, mm -hmm. like, things, things happen, not mm -hmm. to me personally, but, like, to the people that I do love, and it's hard to, like, watch yeah. people, like, go through things like that, and I think it's also affected the way, like, I view or, like, interact with people, um, and, <clears throat> car, like, car, cars play a big part of that, so, Nathan, which is my beloved, uh, we're <laughs> driving one day, and Nathan, um, we're on the highway, and he, like, dozed off, and, like, yeah. to this day, like, we'll try to play off, like, 
how this how this like thing almost happened and like he and it happens often enough like and i don't think he understands how like not severe or how like life flashes through my eyes in these moments that they happen but when nathan's driving and it's like late at night or he's just been driving a lot all day sometimes it even happens in the daytime he like dozes off and like one time he did it like um you know we used to drive back and forth between like baltimore and maryland a lot and one particular time he did it then and he like dozed off and we almost Mm. like veered off that like at you know at that high speed and like I woke him up and he's like oh my god and then um and a couple times just like on the regular road um and it's just like I was like okay this one time like it was um it it wasn't even I can't even remember it was um it I think it was like during the pandemic like right when it happened and the lockdown happened I think me and Nathan had to we're running errands for everybody because like the older people <clears throat> couldn't leave in our family from their houses and my grandmother and like we were like doing everybody's groceries at the time and people were sending us out because we we're like the youngest and whatever so like healthiest mm. or, and um I can't remember Nathan like dozed off got really yeah. tired on the road and wow. so I was like okay I'm gonna get my license yeah I was like I'm gonna get my license and so <laughs> the way I got my license it was just I feel like I hate going, like, getting up, and I like online school, so the fact that driving school because of the pandemic was now offered online, like, I feel like that whole situation, my God, like, make, I feel like that pandemic was so I can get a license. Oh my gosh, I was actually going to ask you, like, how, how did you feel about the pandemic? (laughs) Yeah. You thought, like, it's just a blessing, right, for you? No, like, I got, no, the pandemic, like, I was able, I mean, it was, it was scary, because, like, things are happening and it's and it's really sad but I have like this really cruel not dark I'm, I'm gonna say it's cruel but like I have this theory um but um <laughs> I'm just gonna say no I, I was talking about it to to my coworker. um but um during the pandemic I had a lot of time to do get things done I like was able to um get a business license um start a website yeah. um I'm still working. I went back to work, so I have like no time now at all for anything. But I was able to do these things. Um, I got my license. Uh, driving school is online. The driving test was really easy. The instructor doesn't even get in the car with you anymore. Yeah. Uh, um, they took parallel park. Like you just have to show them how to do three different type of parking, like park three different type of ways, and then they tell you to go wait over there, and then you go get your license. Okay, That's literally guys, what happened. Is the time. Wait over there. <laughs> it was time, but also maybe like now maybe not the best drivers on the road so we care <laughs> um, so like um but i got my license uh-huh and then it just so happened like this whole situation worked out perfectly like i didn't have a car for it and so um nathan has a car but his job now makes him work from home and so he doesn't drive and Nathan's a homebody he doesn't go anywhere so now I'm using his car to go back and forth to work so everything just worked out perfectly and um retail businesses opened back up so I had to go back to work so I think the timing of everything just worked out because then now I'm not on the metros I always got sick like when I took the train I think it's because I wasn't like practicing like always washing my hands like religiously or like sanitizing religiously like now I'm like all about it <laughs> but before <laughs> I think like when I got home, I didn't like my first thing wasn't like, oh, go wash your hands, you know, like mm-hmm. I was just like, mm-hmm. and I started doing things. So my grandmother was always telling me, wash your hands, wash your hands when you get home. And I'm like, I don't see anything. So um, yeah. I realized thinking that way, you get sick a lot. And I used to take the Metro a lot, so I used to get sick a lot. And now I've noticed a difference. I've not gotten like a fever, a flu, a cough, a sniffle. I got like a little sick once, like a little head cold. But um, since I stopped taking like the Metro or like public transportation, just like dri- driving myself to work, like keeping distance from everybody and then drive going home. Okay, that's good. So last question, um, when do you feel the closest to God? Um. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. That's a hard question. If you feel like he's with you, I mean, like, I feel like he's with me all the time. So, I mean, like, I guess we're friends. Like, I'm always talking, like, 
that's another thing I'm always talking to him so like I guess like maybe like when I'm by myself in the shower or, like on the toilet or like in the car mm. and like I'm like having a like I'm just by myself and okay. I'm having like these conversations I guess okay. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do the little the little game now uh face about what you yeah so it's pretty much it should be easy well i don't know actually it depends on everyone uh just try your best okay <laughs> so it's gonna be five questions uh the fifth question is a bonus question so you get two points for that one so you have to get three points total if you don't you have to tell me what's the craziest thing about you are you good okay First question. Okay, are they are they Bible questions? Are they Bible, Bible? questions? Because I'm gonna get all three wrong. <laughs> it's Bible trivia. Oh <laughs> so my yeah. god! Okay, I'm ready. Okay. okay. Oh. So, oh my god! Don't hate me, people. No, hey, here. This is not judging. Uh, we all here to learn. So you know. <laughs> um. So is cheese mentioned in the Bible? What is cheese like cheese mentioned in cheese. the Bible? Yeah. <laughs> this is tricky. Um, I think dairy is, but not cheese. <laughs> you're, killing me. you're killing me. You think dairy is mentioned, but not cheese? Was cheese invented? Then I don't know. The people curdle. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes. You know what? I'm going to say yes because curds. Curds were a thing back then and curds are cheese. Oh, okay. Yes, that's true. Um, so it's uh, in 1 Samuel 17, 18 and four other verses. So it's mainly like the Old Testament. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good, good job. I think like that's the part so, of the chef part. Okay, I had to think about it. it. Yeah, no, think, no, I got it wrong. Hold on. I got it wrong at first. I, yeah, I had to think about it. I was like, wait, curds are cheese. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Second question. So this is a person. Um, okay. He was the first fisherman to come to Jesus. Who was the first fisherman to come to Jesus? Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jacob wasn't Jesus. <laughs> Jacob was in the Old Testament, so Jesus didn't appear yet. <laughs> I'll give you another chart. Okay. Um, <laughs> I love you. It's all right. It's all right. It's Peter. No, stop. <laughs> no, stop. It was Peter. So that's Stop! The <laughs> <laughs> okay, third question. Okay, what is the last book of the Bible? Wait. Oh, okay. Uh, what is the what? The last book of the Bible. Like the last one. Exodus? The last one. <laughs> 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 so <how to> do <laughs> I don't know. Psalms. It's, re it's revelation. You know, like with Re the, yeah, with tribulations and like everything talking about like the end of the world. Revelations. Is Exodus yeah, even a chapter? Yeah, it is. It's in the old testament. It's in the beginning. Oh my yeah. god. Okay, great. Yeah. So you you know like you know the chapters. <laughs> yeah. I don't something. Okay, you have one point. Uh, so the okay. fourth question is how many books are in the Bible? <laughs> I think I've got like some hard questions. 12. <laughs> 12 in the Bible? There's like, it's like so thick. 41. No, it's 66. You don't know. 
<laughs> Yo, I'm learning stuff too, so don't worry. Like when I was doing those questions, I was like, okay, this is good to know. This is good to know. This is good to know. All right, keep it going. Keep it going. What's okay, the next the, one? The one, the last one is the two point one. So you have to get this one to get the three point. Okay. Okay. It's a bonus one, so it's like harder. It's a verse. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Blank and it will be open. So you have to fill the blank. What? Say it again. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Blank and it will be open. So what's the, the blank part missing? It's a word. Okay, I'll give you a tip. You 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 can have one tip. You start with K. Kindness. Kindness, and it will be open. No. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm also gonna say forgiveness. No, because you say ask and you will receive. Seek, you will find. Nanani, and it will be open. Huh? Kick. I'm only well, leaving K words. <laughs> almost, almost, almost. Kick. 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 Kick? No, it was almost. not. That was... It was not. Knock. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, knock on the door, it will be open. Okay, it's I lost. Like... So, what do I have to do? <laughs> <laughs> tell us, just tell us the craziest thing about you. Like, tell tell the craziest thing about me. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many stuff. <laughs> oh my God. I, know, I know, like a very hard question. You have to narrow it down. <laughs> oh. Oh. Like one okay. thing that would like surprise people. You said, okay, um, one thing that will surprise people. I don't know, I'm just random. <laughs> okay, I can tell them. I think like it's like, well, it's not crazy for everyone, but I can tell them. <laughs> You can tell them there's so many okay, things okay. I'm thinking of like, oh my god, okay, go. You you, you say something. Okay. She like this girl likes to walk around naked in the house. Like if she has her friends around. That's like, what you care. went with? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Okay, that's I guess. Only with her friends though. It's not like with everyone. Like only with her friends. And like yeah, I, intimate no, friends. No, just do it. If you're at my house, I'm naked. Wait, you do it now with like anyone? <laughs> no, I'm just saying like I'm home. I'm not. Not everybody's at my house. I'm just saying. Oh, okay. Like, I'm yeah. Home. Like, yeah. and then also I found a way around that. I have a whole <laughs> bunch of kimonos now. I have, like a lot of silk kimonos, and so I'm just naked. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I mean, I understand like the freedom that you feel. You know, it feels free, so it's fine. <laughs> oh. I was, you know what? I know something about myself. What is it? <laughs> One time, you snuck a tattoo artist into the house and got tattoos when we were oh under my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Sylvie, you got there me. There you I go. Think... <laughs> you want to tell people I like to get naked, girl? Yeah, we snuck tattoo artists into the house house i remember like and nathan nathan and james were there i remember and my we had to sneak him past um gabriel and gabriel's in his room playing and yeah and <laughs> i'll cut this part but yeah no you no, okay you, make sure you cut you. all everything else cut and then me and nathan <laughs> and then that's what happened and it started and now we're together and i'm i don't even have a baby <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. I don't. Like that. <laughs> well, Naomi, thank you so much for taking time to 
come here and speak with me and I mean with us because the people are going to listen. Uh, so just before we like finish, can you challenge two person in your surroundings well, your network that are Christian to come and do the interview? So I think I send you the like the challenge uh, step by step. So they will have 24 hours to send me a DM or email to say challenge accepted like on a video format. If one, if at least one of them has to do it within the 24 hours. So if one of them do it, I will give five dollars to. Well, for now I'm going to do your favorite nonprofit because I'm still working with different nonprofits to have them as like partners so that we can choose from that list. And if if they don't like nobody like send me within the 24 hours, then you will have to give five dollars to to my favorite nonprofit. Is that good? Okay. No, that so that who, works for me. So. so, who do you challenge? Um, I'm gonna challenge Nathan Cairo, <laughs> and he has to do it or else. <laughs> I'm gonna challenge. <gasps> you know, would be a good person for you to interview. My coworker Nicole Jendanian. Okay. I can I can challenge her. Yeah, so you can tell them uh, the day. Or that I the video can challenge started. Nathan's mom too. But I don't know if she do it, huh? <laughs> so you can tell them only the day that the video is posted. So when the video is posted, I'll let you know, and then you can text them and say, "Hey, like you have twenty hours, okay. four hours to do this." And then now uh, this okay. is. And I'm also just gonna try to challenge Nathan's mom because I feel like she would like. What's her name? What's her name? Naomi. Um, Pauline Kelly, Nicole Jandanian, Pauline Kelly, Nicole Jandanian, and Nathan Tyrell. I challenge you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Nay. I will talk okay. to you soon. I miss you so much. I hope to see you soon. Okay. I miss you too. Bye. I can't wait to you. see you. Love Bye. you. Hopefully, I'm planning a wedding soon. <laughs> Maybe. Wedding. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Like, I'll prepare a big gift. Yeah. Nathan, do you? Hear I'm her? waiting. I'm waiting too. I'm waiting too. <laughs> You're waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting Me for too. you. I'm like, Me too. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. Well, I hope you Thank get it soon. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Me too.